I've spent uh, my entire adult life really working with people around the idea of change and the idea of them growing and developing and, and changing themselves and becoming better in whatever it is, in whoever they are and whatever it is they kind of want to do in life. So change is a, is a bit of an obsession for me. I've spent most of my life dealing with it. Um, and one of the things I've come to realise is that I think a lot of people are doing change wrong. They're attempting change in the wrong way. When I was a kid, I never ever had a toy that was called Stretch Armstrong. Now, I don't know if you know this, my mates had a Stretch Armstrong. I was never fortunate enough to have one. If you don't know what a Stretch Armstrong is, it was this toy. Um, it was basically like this little doll guy, but he was like a bodybuilder and he had these like blonde hair and black trunks on. And basically, you could get all the Stretch Armstrong and you could stretch him as far and as wide as you wanted to. So when I was a child, getting all the Stretch Armstrong's arms and stretching them, it felt like you could pull them for like a mile and a half in the other direction. Every time you let go of Stretch Armstrong, he would just spring back to his original shape immediately. Boing, straight back in. And I loved playing with Stretch Armstrong at my mate's house. I'd be playing with him for hours and hours and hours. There was something about it that just fascinated me. And I think Stretch Armstrong is kind of the way that most people are trying to do change. Uh, they're trying to change on the outside, so they're trying to put things in place that, that help them to change, that help them to stretch in a certain direction. But the problem is, if you only ever change on the outside, then the scaffolding, the whatever it is that holds you up in that thing, in that change, as soon as that's taken away, it kind of springs back. This is why diets don't work. Because a diet gives you a program to follow, it gives you, an, it gives you a scaffolding to follow, and as long as you follow that thing, as long as you follow it, then it all works beautifully. But as soon as that scaffolding is taken away, as soon as that program is taken away, you spring back to your original shape. You go straight all the way back. And I think this happens in all kinds of ways, in all kinds of change for people. All of us are a bit like Stretch Armstrongs. We can change in the short term really easy. We can do things differently. We can create New Year's resolutions. We can all go on diets. We can put things in place that mean we change in some way in the short term. But as soon as that thing's passed, as soon as the diet is taken away, as soon as the resolution's kind of passed on, we spring back to our original shape, we go back to our old selves. And I see people all the time who are doing this idea of change, trying to change on the outside, but never really actually changing. What needs to change and what we really need to work on changing is our insides. The way we see things, the way we feel about things, the way we think about things. Because when that starts to change, the outside looks after itself. Change happens, real change only happens from the inside out. So if you want to make a change, if you want to do things differently, if you want to grow yourself in some way, I believe you need to start by working on the inside. How do you see, think, feel about that stuff? Then you can consciously start to make changes on the outside, not the other way around.